everybody, I'm Giancarlo Caltabiano and this is our preview video of Diversity or Diversity. Uh, these are the guys that uh, made the game Brilliant, which uh, we reviewed. It's Fear Games. Their Kickstarter is up right now, so check it out. In Diversity, you're trying to perfect the reef and its inhabitants from larger fishing companies. Prove to the government that the reef needs to be protected to become a national park to win the game. The game here is set up for two players, but the setup will change according to the number of players and difficulty level you choose. Each player will choose a diver and receive its pawn. Now this is a pawn from this other game called Brilliance, but in the final version they will be divers. Your diver will start with the full tank of gas. Each player will now draw three coral tiles and place them on their rack in front of them. You are not allowed to see the species on the other side of the tile. Only the other players can see this information. You're now ready to dive. The only way to win is to save a certain amount of species depending on the difficulty level you chose. For the starting game, let's say you just need to save 5 of them, which means to bring them to this spot on the board. However, there are several ways of losing the game. If too many species go extinct, you run out of dead coral tiles to place on the board or if there are six hotel resorts built on the island. Before starting the game, roll the die to move the boat, which will destroy three coral tiles right away. Then, draw an industrial card and apply its consequences. Now let's jump into gameplay. On your turn, most divers have about four action points to spend depending on their diver's abilities. Your diver will start on the island on the yellow side in this base. The blue side means you are diving underwater. To move, it costs one action point. Movement will depend on if you are at the surface or underwater. If you are underwater, you can only move in water and this will lower your oxygen. This also allows you to discover a tile you have on your rack for free if it matches the coral on the board. Another action point can be used to dive and explore. To dive, spend an oxygen and turn your base onto the dark side. If you have a tile that matches the color on the board, place it with the species face up and move that species closer to being saved. Another action point can be used to close down a hotel about to open on an island. Simply be there and use an action point to do so. These hotels have two negative abilities. One is to make you lose the game if there are six of them, and the other is that it stops you from refilling or repairing your gear. Which brings us to the next action, refill and repair. To do this, you must be on the land without any hotels. The locals will help you for just one action point and they'll repair and refill your equipment. They can repair your fins, tank and walkie talkies. Another action is to communicate with other players. Using one action point you can tell another player what species they have. You can only do this if your walkie talkies are working. And the last action you can do is exchange tiles for one action point. Discard as many tiles as you wish to draw the same amount. Finally, end your turn by drawing back to three tiles from the bank and replacing them with new ones. The next player starts his turn by revealing an industrial card and doing its effects. Let's take a look at some of these. The boat will use dynamite to fish. Roll the die to see in which direction it moves and destroys the coral it passes over. Each coral destroyed reveals species from the bank and moves them towards the right on the track unless you already saved them. If that boat moves out of the map, it reappears on the color of the dice rolled. Oil rigs will tarnish the water around islands using the color on the dice and where they start using the direction. A hotel icon simply means to add one hotel on the island matching one of the colors shown. These cards will also have minor damage icons at the bottom that will damage your diver's equipment, reducing movements, actions, communications and special abilities. The special abilities I'm talking about are the ones that each diver has. They all come with a special skill that can help you win the game. There are also special cards that do special abilities, but to know more about these, go visit the Kickstarter page linked below. Diverse City is great for all ages and also has an easy level to play with younger players and a solo mode to try and beat different difficulty levels. We can't wait to have the final version for review and we hope you go check out the page. And as always, if you like it, back it. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.